I'm Emily. I'm a beauty amateur and a YouTube amateur. Welcome to my channel. Today I am just a voiceover. I am a disembodied voice and you don't get to see my face. However, I thought it would be fun to just do a quick kind of window shopping type video. Uh, maybe some actual shopping. Who knows? Because the BoxyCharm pop-up store opened today. Um, so it actually just opened. It's about 12.15 right now. And um, I'm planning on looking through and just seeing if there's anything um, that I am interested in. And I thought I could walk you through it as well and just kind of explain what pop-up is. It's only available to active BoxyCharm subscribers. So, so if you have an active BoxyCharm subscription, you're getting the boxes, then you can access the pop-up to shop. It happens four times a year, I believe. And um, in the other months when there is no pop-up, you get add-ons, which is very similar. It's just fewer things. So it's a limited time, limited quantity, limited everything, much, much reduced sale, basically. And sometimes they have some really cool stuff. So let's go. Welcome to the BoxyCharm pop-up store. They do one of these every three months. It's basically the same as their add-on store, which happens monthly, except it's a lot bigger. So I'm just going to poke around in here. Um, I'm currently under the makeup tab. They have different categories across the top. Makeup is usually my first choice to start with because most of the stuff that I want is probably going to be makeup stuff. You'll notice these little pink tabs that they have um, advertising that they have products that are in one of your boxes, um, either the premium box or the base box or the luxe box. I will say this kind of bothers me that they put this up on February 8th and these are the February boxes because a problem that I ran into in the past was I bought a palette that I was hopeful I would get in my box but there wasn't a guarantee and then I ended up getting the exact same one. So as much as I want to try one of these Huda Beauty pastel eyeshadow palettes, I'm probably going to get one in my premium box this month and I don't know which one. I don't want to end up with duplicates again so I'm just going to pass on that. If we scroll down some more, um, we can see some items. Like I know I got that one in January. I guess they're giving them out in February too. They have some box options. Now sometimes these are like an actual semblance of a box you might have gotten before and other times it's just like a bunch of lip products thrown together. Got a lot of palettes this month. Oh, it also does this annoying thing where it's like partway through, like you look like you've run out because your tracking bar is like down at the bottom of the page and then it reloads. Now, see, this is the one that I was looking at. I bought the red one because I was really interested in that and then I ended up getting the red one in my box and by the time I got the box, the purple one was sold out. But now they suddenly have both of them again. I'm not going to buy the purple one, but I just thought that's interesting. So if you're not familiar with older boxes, a lot of these are, are things that we've had in previous boxes and I guess they just had some extras in the warehouse that they wanted to clear out. That one looks pretty. You might also notice that some of these have a heart like tick box. Um, that's because I have liked that item or favorited that item, um, which makes it easier to go back and find it after the fact. And in fact, some of these are from previous months, but they have had the item multiple times. So um, I like that it kept my favorites because if maybe it sold out last month um, and I didn't get a chance to buy it, I can look at it again. Some of these are maybe um, not items that we've seen in a previous box, but they're other items from brands that we've previously seen in the box. That's probably the majority of them, actually. There's a lot of stuff in here. The interesting thing about that is um, that sometimes they put it in the pop-up or the add-on store one month and then if it's popular enough then they put it in the box and then it's like, oh wait, a good number of people already bought this. <laughs> what was the point of that? Oh my god, they have males now. Interesting. Let's look at some of these. We've got like a glittery one. There's like an ombre one there. Interesting. They're pretty cheap too. Okay, so it looks like we've reached the bottom of the makeup. We're already reaching the out of stock products. Oh my god. And it looks like they had some Natasha Denona and those got probably snapped up quite quickly. That doesn't surprise me. 
they haven't had this one before they had the four pan one previously which i actually bought and they've had the blush before they may or may not have had the cranberry palette i do think that was also a variation item a couple months ago in like a premium box maybe um but not everybody got it i i didn't get it okay so now that we've reached the bottom of the makeup let's go over to skincare Yeah, I'm not really interested in any of this stuff. <laughs> Let's go over to hair care. So there's a lot of hot tools in here generally. I have one of these. I think it's this one. Like it's shaped like that. It is blue, but I'm pretty sure it's this one. I don't like it. Um, my hair gets caught around the edges of the plates and it just like sticks to it and kind of yanks and it's very unpleasant so um would not recommend i got it in a boxy charm but i have another straightener luckily that i like a lot better <laughs> i also have this stuff which i think about getting some of that i really like igk their products are all like basically everything i've tried from them including this which is my absolute favorite thing in the world buy one of those I have that I have that this one is kind of weird it doesn't work that well this one's nice and it smells really good see one of the problems for me is that because you have to pay extra for shipping it's not as cheap as it might be you know just buying it if you were in the states um, and so I have to like think doubly hard about whether or not it's worth it. But then if I think too long, stuff disappears because other people have bought it. There's some pretty sunglasses. I don't need sunglasses. I have like 50 sunglasses. I don't need a skincare refrigerator. I'm intrigued by these Ryan Porter candles. I've been seeing these around a lot. Now, obviously, like, it's tricky to know what something smells like when you're buying it on the internet and you can't try it. You know, is the description accurate? Like, do you even know what the, ac what the description means? Yeah, see, my movies really appeal to me, so. Is there any that I didn't need? I think I need this one. Oh, there's two. I just wanted to add that the one in the top right from November 2020 is really good. The lipsticks and the palette are both great. If it, that one's still available, I recommend. A nice thing that they have off to the side here is that you can sort by category like we were doing before, but then you can also sort by brand or by price. If you have a certain brand that you want to try, um, and you know their products are usually like really really expensive for example Natasha Denona you can just jump directly to their stuff rather than scrolling and scrolling and scrolling just in case you find one It's funny that they have the KVD mascara and the, the lash primer for like $12. Um, I would balk at spending $12 on a regular, like $12 US on a regularly priced mascara. <laughs> like I always get mine really, really discounted. A 
and they're like, oh, this is on sale. <laughs> like, I get that it's much more expensive than that normally, but that's still funny. Now, see, this one I'm mad about because I bought that recently from Sephora. They had it very marked down. I think it was down to like 40 bucks. It was during the um, VIP sale, so I got an extra 25%, no, 20% off of that. Um, but it was still $32 Canadian, and that comes out to like 30 <laughs> And then you factor in shipping, so I guess I did save money. But I saw it, I was like, oh, come on. Because <laughs> they've never had that one in a boxy jam or in the, the store before. They've only ever had the one palette, the Tropic Thunder palette, or the... Tropic Thunder Celestial Thunder palette. This one I've tried. Um, I own two of them, and I think, ironically, they are two of these shades. So, not gonna get another one. It's really cheap to get lip products here, usually. Actually, let me try this one. All right, that's the end. Um, happy shopping.